guys uh, welcome to lohar talk and this is my sixth tutorial on d3 and uh, in this tutorial i will discuss about uh, some d3 scale function so let's get started so what is scale function uh, scale function is typically javascript function and uh, they are used to transform your data value in visual variables so it takes uh, input as a number uh, or date yeah any category and it will return a value such as coordinate color and length so let's see an example of scale function here you can see i have a number array uh, from 1 to 10 and uh, here i am defining one linear scale function and uh, for that i have provided my domain from 0 to max of data which will be 10 so this will define my range of input so right now it will be 0 to 10 and uh, this will be my range of output it will be 0 to 600 means i will provide input to this function from 1 to 10 and uh, the output will be from 0 to 600 so as you can see uh, when i call it with parameter 0 it will return 0 and if i call with parameter 2 then it will return 120 here you can see when i providing my max value it will returning the max of range what if i provide the outside the domain here i have provided 20 so it will return 1200 so it will act like a linear function if you want to avoid this then you can use a clamp function and you can provide is true and when you provide a outbound range then it will return the max range of the function so if you provide uh, input beyond your domain and you have used the clamp function then it will always return the max of range value so in our case it will be always 600 so if i provide uh, 30 50 100 then it will always return 600 so why we use scale function if we are plotting a static data then we must be knowing about my minimum value and my maximum value of data so according to that we can set our height and width of our graph container but in real world the data will be dynamic so we won't be knowing what will be the my minimum and maximum value of data and what will be the my data length in that case our graph can be extended in x axis and y axis if we don't use scale so to fit our graph inside this container we use scale function so let's discuss types of scale function in d3 uh, basically we have a three type of scale function continuous scale function quantize and ordinal scale function uh, so in continuous scale function we provide a continuous input and uh, the function will return continuous output and in quantize scale we provide a continuous input and it will give discrete output and in ordinal scale we provide a discrete input and we will get discrete output for example scale band so in d3 there are number of scale function but we will only discuss about linear and scale band function so let's first discuss about linear function so linear function basically used to scale your data in a y axis so let's see an example for that here i have one div container which has a border red and inside that there is one bar so what i will try to do i will try to fit this bar inside this container so in javascript i have uh, used this data uh, from 0 to 400 and my container height is 300 by 200 pixel and here i have a declare a linear scale function and i have provided my domain as a minimum of this data and the maximum of, of data so my domain will be 0 to 400 and my range will be 0 to 200 because my container height is 200 so bar height should be from 0 to 200 so here i am creating one bar using division tag and i am providing width to pixel and here for height i am using y scale function so let's see what output we are getting when we provide a height as a 50 so here you can see it is perfectly fitting inside my container so let's provide height 100 so as you can see it getting resized according to my range value so what if i provide my height as a 200 which is my maximum height of this container but still it will perfectly fit inside my container if i provide input as a 400 then it will then it will cover the whole container height but what if i provide 
uh, input beyond my domain if i provide as a 700 then my bar should be go beyond my container so to avoid this as we already discussed we can use clamp function and here we need to pass true value by doing this when we provide input beyond our domain then it will return the max of our range so it will return max of our range which is 200 so next is scale bend function so this function basically used to fit your graph in x axis direction so this function will calculate what should be the width of each bar and what should be the space between each bar so when we defined it we need to define the unique domain so suppose we want to create a bar graph for sales per year so year will be in x axis so year should be in unique format according to that it will provide you what should be the distance between the bars and what is the distance of that bar from the y axis so let's see an example of scale bend so here i have created one division container uh, which has a red background it will be our graph container and i have provided width 300 pixel and height 200 pixel to this container so here i have created css class for uh, bars the bar background will be the blue and the position will be absolute so in js here i am selecting that container and uh, this is my input data from 100 to 500 and this is my y scale so it will scale my data in y direction and here i am defining scale bend function and here i have provided the domain and uh, the range will be 0 to 300 because the container width is 300 and uh, here i am providing the padding uh, so padding basically used for spacing between the bar graph and here you can see there are two types of padding padding outer and padding inner so we can separately define the inner and outer padding or we can define both using padding function so in this example i am defining inner and outer padding as a point one here we need to mention padding from 0 to 1 so here i am calling a round function and it will round off my output value and uh, here i am using for loop function and i will loop through my each data and for each data i am creating one bar using division tag and uh, providing the class bar and here i am setting the width of each bar as a x scale dot bend width so this function will return me width of each bar and using y scale i am providing the height of bar and using x scale i am providing the margin left so let's see an output as you can see i have created five bar graph and which are perfectly fitting inside my container so let's add two more value and see the output so as you can see still my graph is perfectly fitting inside this container uh, if you want to know more about this d3 scale function then you can go to d3 official website and here they have documented all the apis so you can go down to this scale link so here they have documented all the scale so you can refer this website and i will also provide this link in description so that's it for this tutorial uh, i hope guys you like my video uh, if you have any doubt please comment below and in next tutorial i will discuss about basic of scalar vector graphics so that we can go ahead with uh, d3 and please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you